Hello there, it's Fabienne Fredrickson from ClientAttraction.com where we help you get more clients, make more money, and multiply your business. And today's topic is the law of association. I know, crazy. How does this help you get more clients? <laughs> the law of association is one of these universal principles, spiritual principles, whatever you want to call it, that really apply everywhere. That's why it's called the law, right? And it is the law of association is something that um, is one of these shortcuts, one of these trump cards for entrepreneurs who understand the law of association. And it means that if you want to multiply your business very quickly, you must not stay a lone ranger. Uh, the law of association states that um, who you spend your time with and who you listen to dictates how big of a game you play in your business. And it also dictates the level of your income. Imagine this, imagine you right here by yourself working in either your home office or your office office and you're just by yourself and kind of like doing things, you know, the way that you've been doing them. And then imagine this is your other you surrounded by people who champion you, who stretch you uh, to think and play a bigger game, who give you resources and a strong mentor who pulls you into your future. Can you see the difference between these two entrepreneurs? This one will take teeny tiny incremental steps in getting to their next level and this one will grow by leaps and bounds because of the expectations of their peer group. See, when you are surrounded by people who expect more from you than you expect from yourself, you produce more, you, you grow faster, you, you turn uh, uh, years into months and months into days, whereby here, just, you know, you don't know what you don't know about getting to the next level. And I believe that your income is directly proportionate to the expectations of your peer group. If you are walking through life on a journey with people who play a bigger game, instantly you begin playing a bigger game. You begin taking more action than you've ever taken before. And this is why I believe that if you want to succeed in your business, you must surround yourself with other advancing people. People who believe that their future is greater than their past, as opposed to some of the people that you may be spending time with now who complain about the price of gas or who um, have a scarcity view of life. I believe in surrounding myself with people who believe in abundance, who believe in um, in advancing to the next level, who uh, instead of when they see someone who does really well, instead of saying, mm, I can't believe they're, you know, they don't deserve that. Instead, I believe in surrounding myself with people who champion a winner. And that is the mark of a winner, somebody who will encourage you and champion you. Um, when you surround yourself with people who aren't this way, I, I, I believe that you drown in their mediocrity. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's very easy to spiral and to think like the people you spend the most time with. So who do you want to spend the most time with? I want to spend time with people who are up to big things, who have exciting things to talk about, who are very giving and generous, but also who, who want to create more for themselves. They're not happy with the status quo. They want to keep going. They're always asking what's next. And when I spend time with people like that, I, I, play so much bigger in my business. In fact, I love to be in a group where I'm uh, the person who's doing the least well, if you know what I mean. You know, I belong to some mastermind groups uh, where sometimes uh, some people in the group make $2 million a week. Now that might seem like a lot to you, but, but I love to be in conversations with those types of people. So to accelerate your own abundance, I invite you to surround yourself with people who are doing really well. Uh, model people who are already living the life that you want to live. If there's somebody that um, inspires you and motivates you and you say, wow, I want to be like that person or I want my business to be like that person's business, then study them. Study them, study from them, read their books, attend their seminars, coach with them, join their mastermind groups, do whatever 
whatever you can to emulate them. And at the same time, surround yourself with people. Perhaps it's a mastermind, perhaps um, it's an association of people who, um, who uh, are already playing that bigger game. Because when you do that, that is what I call the ultimate shortcut. Because um, I believe that, uh, you know, if you can do things slowly or you can do things quickly and elegantly and gracefully. And so that is my invitation to you, is to look around and see who you, whose business you want to model your business after. This is what I do in my own life. I look in my industry and I say, okay, I'm ready to play the next level. Who in my industry is doing what I do but has an extra zero um, to their income than I do? And then I learn from them and then I hire them and then I work with them. So I invite you to do that. That is your assignment for the week. But by all means, stop being a lone ranger and stop learning from people who are your peers as opposed to people who will pull you into your future, okay? So that is your assignment for the week. I would love for you to post a note below and tell me what you, your thoughts are about what we talked about today. How will you begin playing a bigger game using the Law of Association? And if you don't already receive these videos by email uh, every Friday, be sure to go up to the top of this page and sign up for the free CD called How to Attract All the Clients You Need. It's super free, super good, super high content. I pay the shipping, you don't have to pay thing and uh, and just make sure to spend uh, the time listening to it it's all content all value no sales pitch my gift to you for being bleh, for being a subscriber <laughs> I will see you next week lots of love to you bye